And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in Rush Mode. Oh, not Rush Mode. That was my other series. Back to Basics. That's what I wanted to say. Rush Mode was Fortress Craft. Okay, we have a whole bunch of inserters that we're going to need over here. Um, so we need reds. And we need greens. I'm going to do this in a pattern so it's easier to spot. Okay, and then the output, I want... Five and then five. So let's do one, let's do every other one on the outside. And then on the inside, we'll do every other one as well. Not that they'll be used because these things consume so many red cir or so many green circuits that you need a lot of production in order to keep up with them. Okay, so let's see how many of these we're going to need. Three of them, yep. And then hook them up like so. And using only fast instead of like express will help keep them, you know, keep more of the factories going just because it's just going to consume so many circuits. By the time they're finished loading, the next one runs. So it's pretty, pretty constant because it can't load 40 circuits. So you can see they just die down here. So we're going to need another like three sets of the circuit production in order to keep it going. But now that we have now that we have the production, I can actually get by with loading them in. And I'm doing two cargo wagons. Um, uh, just because uh, we want, might want to bring up other types of circuits. So let's see, I want to go to circuit load. And I don't need a double headed train because this is going to go right up to main, which is also a loop. So I don't need, I don't need it. And it's going to be fueled when it goes up there as well. So let's get rid of our car and build some chests. So let's see, load. So in this case, we could we could load a box with blues and a box with reds or something if we really wanted to, but in this case, I don't really want to. I want blues because we've got reds. We're we're making reds um, up in our up in our base. It's like that, and we want a couple fast inserters for loading. And then let's restrict. I'm going to restrict on five this time, just because these things are so brutally hard to make. Except for the last one, which we're going to restrict to two rows. See if we connect. Oh, we're just one off. Sweet. So yeah, in all that time, we only made, you know, what looks like 50. 
just because our green circuits are struggling. Red circuits doing fine. I mean, I could, I could bring these green circuits down. These are not really being made all that much. So I could uh, slip these into the supply. Or I could just add on to this. As you can see, our copper situation, uh, you know, even with these, this basic setup, it's still running out of copper. Even though the process is fully compressed as it is. So I don't know where our copper train is. It's over here. But it looks like it's stuck. Maybe it's stuck. Yep. It's stuck. Okay. We have... Got some loading there. Excellent. Got a few, a few blue circuits, which is awesome. Let's go to main one and figure out a way to unload these. Run the train, go to station. So many trains moving around right now. So we're going to pop up to main one, which also has a fueler, which is awesome. We want to unload The blue circuits. So we're going to need Express Smart Inserters. We want 10 of these. And we're going to want 10 more chests. So where are my Express Inserters? There they are. These are all going to be blue circuits. And these are going to be matched in. Of course, I run out of belt. I'm always out of belt. I really got to get my belt system automated so I can just grab thousands at a time. That will come soon. As soon as I get more iron and I'm able to process or produce gears consistently. So where do we want these? We got red and green here. Uh, I could put them right below red if I really wanted to. So right here-ish. So if I rotate that around I'll be able to take this out um, actually I want to rotate that, rotate that one because I want to take all three of these out so I can just loop this right in because this is green red is right underneath so this is gonna have to be where blue is Trying to empty out all the plastic that I have down south. Still, still not having processed all of that. There we go. And now we have blue circuits on the way. Let's unload what we have. And we're going to use 
Express inserters for that. And let's power it all up. The handy dandy super awesome. So there we go. Not exactly 100% compressed, but we didn't have that many to begin with. So there we have our first blue circuits. Let's uh, do something with those. I'm not going to route them down here yet. We do need them down here for uh, better processing. We will need them here and here. So let's bring them up. Uh, where did it go? Let's bring them up like right here. No, we can't do it there. Let's do it right here. It's kind of messy, very messy actually, but it should work all the way up. Can't go all the way up. <clears throat> Let's go up there. One more. I hate having an odd number of belt in my inventory. So we go up here. If this is blue circuits, it actually might be able to reach all of that. Okay, so I want a splitter here, underground all through there, underground through there. Underground around there. There's my blue. And I have some that will make it all the way to the end here. Red, blue, and green, blue, or green, red, and blue. Okay, so we should have some up here. Um, let's see how many blues. These need two. These need nine. Ouch. So, if I do a fast long-handed over here, that can reach. However, it won't reach here. So I need to rotate that down and add another one to grab from there. See, you need two. Much easier to make, much easier to, you know, use two than it is to make nine. That's, that hurts. And just bridge the power. What's the craft time on this? 10 seconds? That's not too bad. Actually does it in under 10. So we need more blue circuits, obviously. Kind of extend my bus a little bit. So this should be almost full. I don't need a whole row of those. In fact, I don't really need all that many. Okay. I stopped this train. Let's uh, start it up again. Circuit load. See how many blue circuits we have made since since we left. I doubt it's very many. So many trains. Yeah, look at how few there are coming through. Oh, we got a few of them. Not many, but a few. Uh, what is my delay on here? Uh, I'm going to go 50 seconds just because we can unload them really fast. But I kind of want to wait a little longer here. And let's uh, do something with our green. 
we are going to need some faster belts to do this process. I would like to jump to purple belts. So five, I'd be able to, I'd be able to do that. So let's research this. It's going to take quite a few resources to do it. Plastic is still, oh, it is running. Let me just hop aboard. Go up and see how our oil processing is going. Looks like it's not doing too good. I oh, got another another wave of spitters coming in from somewhere. I don't even know where they're coming in from. Okay, fuel I'm doing fine on. Yeah, petroleum gas is hurting. Uh, largely, I am running out of coal up here. Amazingly, I'm running out of coal. So let's uh, remedy that quickly. Not that it matters since we're out of petroleum gas. So this one is out and this one is out. Where are these attacks coming from? They're so far away. How's my oil? So my oil is maxed out. Oh my god. Okay. Let's uh, set up some mining. Like that. Let's uh, bring it. Stupid belt. And of course, I need a splitter or two. And I'm just going to merge it in. Like that. Power. And defense. And a couple of the laser turrets that I have. Put those a little inset so they don't take the brunt of the force. But so these should now really get packed in here. Um, but the biggest issue is petroleum gas. And I don't think it's heavy or light oil that's the problem. So yeah, heavy oil is out. Light oil is out. So it's merely a, a supply issue. Um, I'm going to cut this off here and roughly here. Lubricant is doing well, delivering it out. We're going to be using a lot more of it once I kickstart the belt manufacturing system and bot, bot building that uses electric engines. So let's see. I already have 10 more of these. I don't even know when I built them. Okay. So one, two... Well, I just want to make sure these are lined up. Are these lined up backwards and forwards? They are. So let's uh, line these up the best we can. Copy and paste the recipe. And we're going to need a crazy crazy amount of pipe for this so let me get all the straight pipe first so water is the two out
And down here, water is also two. Okay, so here we have light oil that needs to be two. Heavy oil actually needs to be three to match up with that. Petroleum gas is one. Same, I think it's the same system over here. Three and one because these will these will go right into the the system. And I'm gonna need a whole bunch more pipe. Oh, I've already got some. So three, two, one. And just, there we go. So now for the undergrounds, I'm gonna need pretty much one, two, three, four, five. Five for each one of these, and I have 10. So I'm gonna need way, way more underground pipe than I've got access to right now. Plus I probably need to do you know, a double batch through this system because it won't reach. So I'm gonna have to double that up. Like that, and the water too. Like that. Okay, so I'm gonna need also, which I can't really build, I need to underground this system I don't really it's not really urgent at the moment yeah we're just not producing very much Ooh, this one I can hitch a ride on so we're gonna go to main three go But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.